Hello, Pitesh. Hello, Junjie. Hi. Hello, Shiwei, Damon. Hey, Yi, British. Hi, morning Jinjie. and uh, up to. With Pingwani, I'm not sure why she haven't joined. Okay, she's joining in two minutes and in a minute. Okay, great. Thanks. I'm now sharing my screen. Can you say it? Yeah, I can say it. Okay, uh, let's wait for Vani to start. Hey, hi. Hello, everyone. Hi, Vani. Hey. Hello, everyone. Hello, Vani. Hello. Uh, do we need to wait for somewhere else? I think uh, we can uh, definitely start. Uh, yeah, we can, okay. we can start. Okay, let's start. Uh, here is today's agenda. Uh, I think we can firstly walk through the current uh, RC1 release status. Uh, then later we can have a discussion on the RC2 scope. Discussion. Scope. Yeah. yeah. So, so we can talk about RC1 so that uh, Pritesh has to take care of a couple of things. So he will have to drop off a little early. So if we can finish the current RC1, uh, this thing. Uh, topics, then uh, he can drop off and I can stay on for RC2 discussions. Okay, no problem. Uh, okay, uh, so the first item is my proposal to have the code freeze by end of this Wednesday Pacific time. And I know that there will be uh, public holidays this uh, Thursday and Friday in US, right? Uh, so it's better that we can have code freeze. That means uh, all the PRs are reviewed and uh, merged, especially those PR related to the uh, code changes. Then on Thursday and Friday, since uh, there, <coughs> sorry, since there's no holiday in China, so the maintainers in China can start uh, uh, testing. If right. Go, yeah. We uh, click the checking. Uh, so firstly, let's walk through the PR. I think from the notation, uh, notation CLI repo, I think the status is good. Uh, and there are two PR related to spec uh, that uh, uh, request re-review. Uh, I see uh, Pratesh already provide some comments. Maybe uh, Pratesh can take a look today. Uh, and there is one PI related to the help doc. Uh, Femen is on it. 
uh, okay. for the rotation go, we have uh, actually total five PS. Uh, I checked the status this morning, my time. Uh, we have two already approved by Jonathan. Uh, I think the first one and the, the fourth. And uh, there are also two uh, requests to review. Maybe Pradesh or Rakesh can take a look for the second and the third. Uh, the last one is the PR created by Jonathan, but uh, Jonathan needed to, to do a revise firstly, then we can uh, start the review from our side. I'm, I'm not sure whether Jonathan is aware of this PR. Uh, yeah, he's aware of this, management. I think. Uh there were a couple of things to be taken care. Uh, so Pritesh, I would say 178, we can move to RC2. Yeah, I think we can move it out. <clears throat> yeah, we can. Anyway, our spec can... says we don't support high levels. If anyone adds it, we will break them, but it should be fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so 178, this is an uh, echo to uh, this is scope. One the, uh, issue, it is corresponding to issue 80. I can, I can move it to RC2. I can change the milestone. Um, okay, great. Um, yeah, I cannot find that one. Yeah, anyway. Uh, when you please update the milestone. <laughs> I did update uh, already. Okay, thanks. Uh, notation core go, there's only one PR. Request the re review. Uh, from notary project, actually, these are related to the cozy envelope. Uh, I think uh, we have a good status, uh, just uh, this one. Uh, we need, uh, I think we need the Shui from your side to provide comments on this PR. Actually, it's a very small PR. British already approved it. So after that, this PR, uh, after this PR uh, merged, then we can start considering merge this PR, the third one. Mm -hmm. uh, for the second one, we already re uh, received uh, uh, approval from different organizations. I, I think we can take action to merge today. Uh, so I think if overall from the PR status is promising that we can have code freeze this Wednesday. Uh, there are some work uh, on the help document. I, I think uh, uh, Feynman uh, we'll work on this today. Hopefully we can have a PR created today. Uh, okay, yeah. this is the, yeah, this is for the PR status. Uh, for the issues, there's one issue I think uh, requires some work and I also need uh, the update from Pritesh. Uh, it's about this uh, second one yep. at the expiry. This is the 443 question is the yeah. uh, question is uh, uh, one of the question that I had is, is it OK to work on the spec and implementation in parallel? Is there anything that Pritesh needs to provide based on what was discussed last time based on this expiry? Yeah, we need uh, to take a call how we want to pass the expiry. Do we want to pass the top level field or create a new field for that? Uh, I can do some write up by tomorrow end of day, at least a discussion draft, and we can use that. He uh, spec will be done by end of day Wednesday. So that's the reason Pratesh is calling out, like he can just do some write up. Right, uh, Pratesh? Yeah, yeah. I, I think once the I think this if the spec uh, is updated, I, I think uh, uh, maybe Shui Patrick, you can comment. Uh, from our side, we, we can start the implementation in parallel. But uh, we we need the spec to be updated firstly, 
and align the way forward, then we can uh, start implementation. Yeah, I will have it by tomorrow and of day some rough draft, at least an open PR, which might not be like production ready, but yeah. Okay, so we will wait for, for the spec to be updated. And Pradesh, once you finish, the, you, you can ping me uh, because I, I think the spec also need a review, right? Yep, we'll do that. Okay, thanks. Uh, so back to this piece, uh, I think this item is uh, is the one we require some some work. So, uh, so yeah, let's do it. Hopefully, we we can uh, have the implementation ready by Wednesday. Let let's see. Uh, for this one, it's also related to spec, right, Pritesh? Uh, yes, I was thinking, can we move it to RC? Do we do already have a draft stage on that? So I do have a spec out there. We wanted to revisit that. So we do support like, <clears throat> so idea was I wasn't able to work on this. Uh, let me just get some documentation there. So we do have a spec out there. It's just that we have made it draft stage because we wanted to revisit it once before RC1. But it looks like that won't be possible. So let me just point it here. I'm just trying to figure out where I wrote it. So here is the link. So we did wrote a spec initially when we were writing trust or trust person signature verification, but we called it draft. Can we go in RC1 with that draft or do we actually need to finalize this? Okay, this section. Yeah, this is marked as draft because we wanted to revisit it once just to confirm we are not doing anything wrong here. Uh, so Can we just. This, only in this section? Yeah, this, this section. section? Uh, no, it's complete from bottom, like from this section to the end of the document. Which covers CRL, revocation using CRL, OCSP, and everything. Okay. Till FAQ, basically. Till FAQ. Uh, so I, I'm suggesting it's like, let's go in RC1 with the draft. And in RC1, we are saying, and yeah, we won't be implementing revocation. So I'm saying, let's go with spec as a draft in RC1, and then we can finalize it in RC2. Uh, do, do you mean that we also needed to merge this draft here? Oh, it's already merged. It's already merged. So it's already it's spec, merged. Yeah, spec is there. We, so earlier when we merged the spec, we called it as a draft spec. So if you see this line, this section okay, should be considered okay. as a draft and will be updated after RC1 release. So what I'm suggesting is we already have a draft out there. We can update a draft after RC1. I okay. think uh, Sajay is okay with that as well. So Shive, Freeman, do you have any concerns? Now from my side, I think it's okay because it's already, uh, at, at least the draft version is already reviewed and merged. Then that means that we, we need to spend the, the effort after RC1. I, I'm fine with it. So let and me even not, change. Uh... Implementation won't have that certificate revocation implementation, so we can anyway move it up to a post RC1. So I'm just uh, updating issue 72 under notary project to RC2. Yeah, we don't have any implementation for uh, revocation anyway, right? So it's okay to draw, yeah. draft the spec and call it out that this is post RC. It's just a milestone. Yeah. Yep. Right. It's taken care. I have updated it. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Uh... Okay, uh, for this one, number four, uh, I think we will document the current behavior for, for RC1, and that's it. And for RC1, I think the current implementation is that uh, for the notation go, 
uh, it uh, uh, doesn't specify any default value for uh, maximum attempts uh, signature, and the notation CLI will pass uh, a value to notation Go. Currently, that value is also uh, hard coded in notation CLI. I think uh, uh, after us one, uh, once we align how to uh, config uh, config these values, uh, for example, whether it is uh, a command line option or a config file parameter, and uh, we also need to align the behavior between the timeout uh, configuration and also the maximal uh, signature attempts option. And after that, we, we can decide the, the user experience. So for now in RC1, we use the uh, hard code. I think it is but the 50. We will define 50. the user experience in RC1, right? Sorry? We will define that user experience in RC1. We won't implement that. That was the uh, takeaway from the last meeting, right? Uh, <clears throat> yes, uh, my understanding is that we, we document the, the, the behavior that uh, for RC1. So Correct. the behavior. Yeah, the behavior is that we use the default 50 uh, maximum attempts configuration. And this configuration is passed through CLI to library. For a library, there's no default configuration, default values. But I think uh, we had multiple scenarios to address that, right? It was not just the signature, right? The default. So we were also. Like the, the problem here is how will we modify default? Modifying default is the issue in future. So it's just, that's the thing we wanted to document. We wanted to explore multiple scenarios and the correct value for defaults. Uh, I think uh, to update the default value, we can uh, discuss it after after RC1. I, I mean, the to find a nice yeah. solution, definitely we, we, can, we can start the discussion from now on, but I don't think we, we can implement the, the configuration uh, in rc1 the problem is we are saying that rc1 won't have any breaking change this would be a breaking change if we change the defaults correct i, I understand like I, I think i echo what pratesh is saying but what is the rc1 timeline we're looking at that also we need uh, to yep i agree there how about so, the default okay. I'm, I'm, I'm for it. don't don't break if possible but i'm trying to understand what can we do so that we can land this somehow uh, or should we call this out as this is going to be a breaking change uh, with an issue uh, you know, pre-opened at least at least have the issue and the design spec uh, committed what uh, what model do people want to do or how about having default behavior is list everything and then provide if you want to restrict it we can provide a flag there that's also the way to handle it like we are doing for think, list signature I what think list, behavior. a list with a very high value or like a no no limits at all. Yeah, no limit, something like that. So like we can have the same rational here. Okay, if we don't have a limit for limit, we'll provide separate flags in future if you want it. Yeah, I think this is a good proposal. We yeah, but that would also break. Limits. Yeah. That's also breaking. Uh, no, default would be by default. We will list. We will use have no limit. But if in future we can support flag, with flag you can pass a different value, and that will use that. So I by for, forever we will use like default behaviors. We will do every signature. We will try to do with every signature. But if we, the only thing downside is, no, no. Usually I, I, okay. people go with default behaviors. That's the only no, I, downside. I, okay, I agree with you because I had a very similar conversation with Shue, and Shue convinced me at one point in time that let's list everything for Discover API. So I'm going to ask him: Is he okay with okay. the similar behavior for notation? I don't know whether Shue can. Shue is on the call. No, I'm on the call. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Shue, what do you think? uh so um um it's either way it's code right we still have to make a change uh to support yeah. listing yes hmm. okay if you don't I, I don't want to kind of put you on the spot and get an answer right now uh can we at least spark it that we would 
close this uh, by today, your time, uh, by end of day, your time today. You and he can discuss. No, uh, I can do that. Yeah, we we'll, yes, yeah, so we can yeah, have a discussion. Yeah. Okay. And uh, we need a design uh, issue for specking out the defaults also, or update new flags for RC2. If we do this. Yeah, I don't see how which registry would have thousands of signatures right now. <laughs> no, there, there's nobody, nobody who has multiple. But yes, yeah, somebody can get into a bad situation. And hopefully by the time they get into a bad situation, we can give them a RC2 and we can tell them, yes, we have the answer for you. Let's make that happen. Hmm. When you say very high value, it is like very high value, like 9999, or when you say zero, then don't consider it, right? I mean, the, I think Pratesh's proposal is don't just give everything, which means it'll keep on going until you control C or something like that. Yep, and we can provide a flag like hyphen timeout, hyphen max signature, and that in future we'll honor that. Yeah, and I don't it's, have a concern with that because most CI systems, automated build systems, you can configure timeouts at a given task. So I'm not too concerned about that. They can apply these guards in different places. But for an actual implementation, we'll say we'll provide you a flag within notation in RC2 is also a reasonable statement. So which means that if you don't provide the flag right now in RC1 Pratesh, it's not going to honor that, which means it continues. Until it continues. It's... Yep. Like yeah, until it I'm... finds, until it has gone through all the signatures, it will just continue the process which is there. Okay. And practically, we don't expect the customers to have like more than 50, I would say 50 is even a bigger number there, but yeah. Okay. You don't want, yeah. E, uh, will you be able to let us know an update by end of your day today? Uh, yeah, I think today, uh, Shivin and I will have a discussion and based on what we just discussed, uh, uh, it seems the way forward is in RC1 that we, we don't have any limits. Then we try to figure out some uh, configurations uh, uh, in RC2 for the user. Uh, yeah, but um, I'm thinking uh, what, uh, what will happen in the, uh, in the J version? Uh, will we still allow, um, I mean, infinite, Stuffs in in the J version. Yeah, from a CLI standpoint, I think it's okay to be able to parse as many as you want. What is your concern? Yeah, uh, because the uh, the number of um, signature to be verified will be a flag, and if someone is using uh, the CLI in a script uh, rather than write manually, then uh, the flag will be easily ignored. Correct, correct. That's, I think that's that seems reasonable because today technically you can pull a Docker image and flood your disk also. There's no limits that you can set, right? So I'm not worried about that, but uh, we should call it out. At least, um, I think those are the things that we have to at least call out, but, and it is RC, so, I would assume that as long as we have called it out, it should be okay. Yeah, I think it should be fine, but eventually I think that we still, we will still have breaking changes in the GA version. I, yeah, let's cross that bridge when we, when we have to. So call it out, that this is a potential that can come uh, and we'll discuss along the way. And once we get inputs, maybe, maybe we'll come up with, this is the default that we need. Yes, uh, I think we can remove the limitation first and uh, maybe later we can add it uh, in the J version. Yeah. And uh, people have to that. explicitly move to GA, right? No, pardon? People have to explicitly move to GA, so it's fine. Yeah. Okay, uh, Pritesh, uh, do you have any more comments? Nope. Okay, uh, I think uh, 
Uh, firstly, today from our side, we can update this issue and then we, we need to figure out where, uh, I mean, any document needed to update for this part. Yep, and we will need okay. to open a couple of more issues just as a follow up and for future task. Yeah, for RC2. Yep. Can, can we use this issue for, for RC2 or? Whatever works we, for you, either we can use this one or we can, yeah, whatever works for okay. you. Okay. Okay, I, I think the following issues could be moved to RC2. Uh, I also want to confirm this one uh, debug option. Any concerns from this issue? If we move it to, to uh, post RC1. We can move it to post RC1. No, there's, there's no way we can implement it in the given time frame. If we're dropping other features, then yeah, this is a lower priority. Okay, uh, I think uh, uh, I just skipped the first one. The first one, actually, we have the two specs. So we are aligned that uh, once the spec uh, emerge, then we are done in RC1, right? The implementation can start uh, post RC1. Yeah. Wait, uh, sorry, uh, implementation of first re post RC1? Yeah, that's the, so, okay. This one, this tag to digest. If we are doing tag to digest, uh, whatever output we made, the dissolved tag should be in RC1. This is a potential. Uh, the, is that a, the yeah. same? Is the same issue that we have when we were emitting warning or emitting the image digest which we signed? Uh, I think this is uh, only related to the to the output message. The, yes, the and tag that will should be, be resolved to digest anyway. Yeah, so that should be in RC1 what output we made because we are suggesting users to consume it. So our output should be at least in a format which is legible to the user and they can consume it. And if we don't emit the right output, that becomes a security issue with because customer can sign one tag or so customer can verify one tag and consume other ones. Yeah. So uh, okay. should be in RC, implementation should be in RC1. Okay, so I think once the spec updated, uh, approved from your side, we, we can start implementation. I yeah. think uh, it, it won't take much effort for, for this, just to update the output message. Yep, I will take a look at this one tonight, yeah. Okay, thanks. There are two PRs. One is for sign, another is for verify. Thanks. I think that is already part of the one that you have given. So, uh, this, this two, I know. Do, do you mean this one? Okay. okay. Two ones, right? We need to review it. This 440 and 439. Okay. Yeah, this two. Okay, great. Uh, and another thing is uh, the number nine. We want to confirm that the fallback logic will be post as a one. Yeah. Yep, I reckon that, yeah, it should be post as a yeah. one. Uh, and actually, I also did some, yeah, I created this issue for the fallback scenarios and uh, uh, you, you can add uh, comments under this issue. Uh, yep, I saw. And, uh, sorry? Yeah, I just saw that one. Sorry, Pratesh, you are breaking? Yeah, you, you're breaking. Yeah. Sorry, Pratesh, I didn't uh, hear you. Uh, you are breaking just now. I saw the issue and we can mark this. Oh, it's already marked as RC2. That's what I was saying. You can discuss this after RC1. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Please ch check this uh, diagram to see whether you have any any concerns. Because the last time Toddy and you mentioned that uh, there are still some, some, some concerns. 
So maybe you can check the, the picture to see whether it can explain it. I think this is of not priority compared to the other PRs, right? Um, yeah, this can be can be done later. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, after, exactly. yeah. Yeah. I yeah. think the currently the priority is the uh, is the PR list firstly. Yeah. 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 Then we update some behaviors as we just discussed. Uh, for example, for the for the uh, the timeout this issue. Uh, maybe this could uh, uh, lead to some documentation updates. There will be more PR, it, it, it could be, uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks, Pradesh. Thank you, I will think of it offline. I will think of it one offline. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Pradesh. Thanks, Pradesh. Bye. <laughs> okay, I, I think we completed the first uh, two. Uh, I have the third one. Uh, because RC1 is a major milestone. So I want to hear your opinion, any special documents or blogs we need to prepare for it. I mean, except uh, uh, besides this common project documents, some spec updates, and also some uh, quick start or workflow updated. Uh, any other documentations or blogs we can prepare for announcing the RC1 release? Yeah, I think uh, there should be uh, some blog that we prepare for the RC1 release. I think uh, I, we were discussing with Tori and Samir the other day. I don't see either of them in this meeting. So I, I should be able to get back to you after having a quick discussion with Samir. I'll, I'll get back to you tomorrow. Okay. I think you. Tomorrow. Yeah, oh, and I yeah. think okay. in uh, issue number 77, we were looking at few of the items that we need to look into. So as part of the documentation itself, I think 77. 77 is that. When you do mean 88, I see totally create a issue related to the Nostri project uh, documentation. Yeah, yeah, if you click on 88, uh, yeah, yeah. This one? If you scroll down, if you scroll down, I think what we were looking into is the tutor tutorials and the how to guides from the tab tabular structure. Yeah. Above, there is a table here. How to guides and the tutorial. Those two sections we were looking to make sure we have it completed. These are the two things. So, um, I want to call out. Uh, we should reserve at least uh, three or four days to prepare for the new documents. Yeah, especially for the tutorials and the how to guides. That means we need to write some manual guides from scratch. Okay. I guess uh, our PM side can collaborate to write those guides and uh, we can create uh, separate issues to track and assign to ourselves if we align okay. with this table. Todd is the one who actually was uh, actually looking into these two sections and uh, we need to see if we can, yeah, if we can see what can be accomplished in this payment. Uh, you can ping me directly what you want us to take care and what is that you guys can take care. So we can work collaboratively on this in this space. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. I, I think uh, uh, today uh, we, we will also think with Todi. So after okay. that, we will, yeah, we will let you know uh, which part. Sure. Uh, yeah. Sure. 
Good. We will take. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, then we complete the RC1 release data. Synchronize. Uh, any other things you want to discuss related to RC1? Uh, otherwise, we will continue to discuss the RC2 stock. RC1, I think uh, that's about it. It's a few PR reviews. I have been working with John since morning, and then let's see. I'm going to talk to Rakesh and Pratesh to see if we can uh, close some of those PRs. Yeah. After okay. this call. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. So let, let's uh, target in the Wednesday. And on Wednesday, uh, we can have a code break so that we can start uh, uh, testing from Thursday. Thursday and Friday. Yeah, sure. Okay, then we continue. I open this one. Uh, actually, I did a summary here. So, yeah, I, uh, I did that. Yeah. Yeah, the scope is what I listed uh, previously. Then I collect some comments from uh, Samuel. From yeah, your side. we had the oh, discussion oh, yeah. internally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, then later I combine Todi's comments and also Samuel's comments here in this table. Uh, but but before we uh, work through the scope, I think firstly we need to align how we can define the priority, because mm -hmm. from your side it, it's just the numbers, uh, mm -hmm. one two three four. Yeah. So, uh, the the smaller one means the highest, right? Uh, right. Uh, from Todi and actually from our side, we 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 put the priority this uh, character P before okay. the numbers. <laughs> no, worries. and uh, yeah. we we have uh, the P zero as the uh, highest. So mm -hmm. may maybe we can align this firstly because uh, I'm not sure whether P zero means number one. <laughs> yeah, so we need that's to. Fine. Uh, uh, <laughs> Okay, so P0 means uh, the number one, P1 means the number two, right? Yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> so can we find a common format for it? <laughs> yeah, so, so you, a, said, yeah, uh, you said uh, notation offline sign and verify is P0, right? That's the highest priority compared to even the fallback support. Uh, if uh, number one is equal to P zero, so so okay. that's yeah. Then that's uh, yeah. I, I mean, first we needed to clarify whether the one means P zero. Uh, the P zero from our side. Yeah, it's P zero. Yeah. It's P zero. Okay. Yeah. So from so then that, that means from Samuel's list, uh, uh, this is P zero. This is P one. This is P two. This is P three. Right. That's right. Okay. That's right. okay. Okay. Because I and Samir together came up with this list, so so no no confusion there. Yeah. The fallback okay. support was the topmost priority because we wanted to make sure where exactly the logic stays in. Is it in the CLI or is it in the library? Right. We had that discussions. We have not landed in that space since we thought we first get that clarified and then uh, implementation should be fairly okay right but right. yeah so that's p0 the first one so you can change that to p0 and you all agree it's a, it's a p0 right so yeah yeah uh okay and uh, inspect signatures two or p1 um yes it's p1 it's p1 i, I think from yeah both sides we, we have this yeah so this it's priority we, we are aligned how yeah uh, sorry how about how about this offline sign and any comments from your side we uh, think no, it's, that's, uh, it's that's important me. yeah yeah that's it's important okay. yeah okay. that's okay so this one. Uh, then it comes to this debug option. 
from Diga, your side Diga, is the yeah. yeah. P one. P one, yeah. P one, P one. P one, P one. Yeah, maybe let 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 me firstly update this so that we can. So this means the next P1. one you you asked whether it is two versus P zero. Yes, we had added two, but I would say P zero is the right uh, priority because end to end testing gets dropped every release. So unless you don't prioritize, it won't take the priority. It will always get pushed. So, yeah. Yes, I would agree. It's a P zero. Yeah, and this will help to improve uh, our quality for replication. Uh, although it is not deliver some new scenarios, new user scenario, but it's important for for our quality and also yeah. can uh, speed up our release. Because if we don't have automation ready, we need every time manual replication, right? It, it yeah. takes time for many work. Yeah, exactly. I agree with both your priorities, the CLI command for the trust store, trust policy, the next one also is a P0. I would, I would agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. Certificate revocation P2, timestamp signature P2. Timeout implementation is the same thing that we discussed just now with the flag option. So it should be P2? P2. Is it two. The... P2. P2. I think API documentation is a P3 and CLI documentation is a P3. Uh, what do you mean CLI documentation? Uh, can you clarify it? I, I think this is from uh, Samuel's comment. Uh, what, what do you mean? The, uh, the CLA documentation means like, for example, the, you have when you sign, you call the API, right? So we know the what is the output of the API, what's the response, what the request. So pretty much you will have that documented as part of the API documentation. But coming to the CLI documentation, what happens? What's the output when you actually run this command? What's the output? So that is the CLI documentation. It's two different documentation. When you actually invoke the API, what's what's the documentation when you are going through the CLI? What's what's the output? Do we not want to do that? I see payment. Uh, yeah, I think CI documentation is that thing we just discussed earlier. Uh, that issue created by Toddy. It's just notation. CLI manual guide. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Sorry. The, the, yeah. the manual guide, not, not the, how the CLI call the API. No, no. No. Okay. The manual okay. guide itself. Okay. Okay. Then you I'll don't understand. have to tell how the CLI is calling the API. That becomes a technical design overview, right? You don't yeah. want to do that. This is a manual guide, but the API itself will give you all the request response uh, kind of documentation this is just the manual idea okay maybe okay. you want to update it as manual guide in the brackets so that we don't get confused with the terms <laughs> yeah thanks uh okay you know, for, push for the command is already part of the notation, right? What is pull and push command here? What is pending? Uh, uh, actually, this is from Samuel's comment. Uh, oh. Currently, we, we, we don't have a pull or push command. Uh, previously, in our, in alpha version, we, we have, uh, uh, I also didn't remember clearly, but we, we do have options that the notation can push or pull signatures separately. 
in, instead yeah. push by default. So, so this yeah. one, uh, because uh, Samuel is not here, I, I didn't understand uh, what's the meaning for unknown uh, or he has something in mind, but uh, at that time. Yeah. Unknown, uh, I think the reason uh, we wrote unknown is because we thought it's already part of notation. There is nothing to be done as part of pull and push command. Is is that the understanding no. we all have? No. no. Nope. We, we don't have this command in RC1. Oh, okay. In RC1, the behavior is uh, after sign the remote artifact, the signature will be pushed to the registry automatically by default. And before verify and uh, notation will pull the signature. But we, we don't have a separate command that user can push or pull the signature. I think if you go to, go to the GitHub dashboard itself, you will see that there are user stories around that. Uh, okay, let me pull and go push. To, uh, I remember yeah. we have issues. Uh, yeah, I, I saw somewhere that we did have. Uh, uh, let me check. You mean this too? Yeah. Yeah. Notation push, the, push yeah. signatures and pull signatures. Yeah. Those are the yeah. two user stories. Yeah. Yeah. But this, so this, is not, uh, this is not in RC1. So we needed to think about whether we, sh we should do this in RC2. Or it should be in RC3. I'm not sure. That's the reason that's the last priority. Uh, okay. So that is something to think through and see. Is that the priority for RC2 or we can we can keep it as the last priority because when we discussed with uh, when I discussed with Tori, RC2 date was like uh, the date was like between uh, 20th and 23rd of December. Yeah, so that, that's a yeah, that's a, a, a very challenging date. <laughs> uh, challenging date. Uh, yes, considering the the, the scope, uh, because just uh, one month right after RC one, uh, and I I already know that some items we we will take more uh, time. time. Yeah, some some items. What are, what are your bigger, thoughts around RC two dates? Yeah. Uh, so what I'm uh, thinking is that firstly we align the scope and the priority, then we can uh, maybe from your side and uh, I from my side to work with the uh, Shui or Pritesh, we, we yeah. can have some cost estimation. <laughs> then based on the cost estimation, we will know what we can include okay. for uh, okay. RC2 if we want to okay. complete it in one month. Yeah, or we can break this down into two releases, RC2 and RC3, and we can take only the one that is really, you know, making impact for RC2. Like, for example, the fallback support inspect signatures, you know, um, I would say, I am seeing those two and uh, probably the timeout implementation, you know. So uh, I'm seeing really four or five things that are extremely important for RC2, like CLI comments for the TP management, right? So yeah. uh, I'm seeing like four or five that we can tell, hey, let's do one release in, in, uh, by end of December, which is like by, you know, I would say on that 19th week, because we are just before Christmas, we can knock it off one more release, right? And then we can take the rest of the uh, items and we can tell, hey, we can do the release in the mid of Jan. 
I think that's a better idea rather than going with entire thing so that we can go iteratively um, and we can decide which is important for our city. Just let me know how, how what do you think after you guys discuss. But I think fallback support, inspect signatures, you know, CLI, um, commands for TP management, and uh, probably the timeout implementation. Timeout implementation, I still don't think it's all that important because you have a control C to kill it, you know. Um, but uh, I would say notation offline sign and verify might take over the timeout implementation based on the priority. So there are four things that we can definitely knock it off. Um, along with the one documentation, which I think the most important will be API documentation because we it has become extensible APIs right now. So I'm just seeing five items right now. So which can be done probably as part of in that week. So if we can prioritize like that, then we can tell, hey, these PR reviews, this uh, development can be done and we can see what we have to take and what you guys can take to make that uh, RC2 day uh, so that we are doing it in, in a month. Uh, and also we'll probably get some of the feedback from the users, right, as well from the yeah. RC1. And we need to prioritize that as well. So we need to keep RC2, not the entire list that we have here, but we need to see what's really priority, priority. Yeah. Uh, I, I think uh, firstly, uh, let's align this uh, table, right? Uh, then we can provide some cost uh, estimation. Correct. Then we will know the size. Uh, I, I I know, for example, for this one, it's, uh, it's not a small size, so it cannot be uh, be put into the RC2 uh, in a one month time frame. So that means we can consider whether we can uh start to implement part of it or not but but that we need to figure out later but uh, firstly we, we we should have an overall picture and also we need to reserve some time for the issues that uh, as one in, may introduce uh, and also we need to consider whether to uh, sorry to avoid any breaking changes so if some issue for example, it's uh, for example for this timeout, it's uh, mm. it's a low priority. But if it will introduce some breaking changes, it's better that we can get it done before the stable release, right? Sure. So sure. so so we need to consider it. Correct. Uh, Correct. Yeah, but at least for now, uh, it, it's very good. We we can have this uh, priority aligned. Then later we will spend time on the cost estimation. Maybe from Correct. your side, you can also, uh, I mean, after the PR review and the other work for the RC1, we can start to work on the cost and estimation. Then we will sure. have a feeling. Uh, and I agree with you, we, we can, uh, we should have this iterative release, right? Uh, Correct. Step yeah. by step, we make progress, we deliver values. Uh, yeah. I agree yeah. with that. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, so I think we we have some work left for the stove. Sure. At least this sure. is the first yeah. version, and later I will uh, sync up this table with uh, Todi and to collect sure. any feedback from him. Sure. Uh, I also. Uh, wrote some uh, uh, some some other to do uh, documentation code phrase uh, cost estimation we just uh, talked about and the release cadence we can once we have the cost estimation available we, we can think about whether it is the one month or two months maybe mm -hmm. one month is too too tight considering yeah. the PR review it takes time right so yeah. it, it is not just one org, 
uh, to drive this, we, we needed to have a communication, we needed to have the review and the alignment. So maybe one month is too tight, um, but, but let's make a decision later once we have a um, uh, cost understanding for these uh, items. Yeah, yeah. So we will yeah. know. Yeah. yeah, sure. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, and I also, uh, the second comment is actually uh, related to the GitHub issues. You, you see that we have some issues with roadmap items, right? And mm -hmm. we also have some other issue not in the roadmap, uh, roadmap repo. So I think maybe it's better that we can have this uh, uh, roadmap related items. I mean, the, the key features, uh, this issue in one repository. Correct. So that we, we can create a board very easily from that repository to show the progress. So for example, which issue are, are, are in the project uh, backlog? I mean, the importance, yeah. because there will be there will be some bugs or some feature asking or some smaller issue in different repository, right? But that uh, could could be uh, could not be our key features that we want to enable for our customer. So we could uh, use this uh, roadmap repository is already there. We can have uh, our backlog. We we have uh, uh, what the features planned for RC one, what has been completed, and what is planned for RC two. So so we can have a board to show the whole roadmap. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, I agree. This is something we discussed a couple of weeks back, remember? I think Sajay also was in that discussion. I was like, just because we have multiple reports, we cannot see that progress, but I agree. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And by uh, working on this table, I realized we, we, we did have some issues in the roadmap repo. Correct. So maybe we can start up to, we can start to clean up some issue. Maybe it is not valid anymore. Then we can also create a, new issue accordingly based on our uh, discussion here. Sure, sure. So that we can have the roadmap repo to address all the feature related to uh, a roadmap from a short-term and a long-term point of view. <laughs> okay, well, maybe we, sure. we can do it uh, together. Uh, it's uh, mainly in the uh, PM work. Yeah, yeah. I guess when you also know the planning board of notary, yeah, when when it is uh, web uh, that, but from that board it's not clear from our uh, overall picture how we can drive the product to some some destination, because there there are some other issues not uh, related to, uh, I mean not that important to con comparing to this uh, roadmap issues. Okay. Can you, uh, can you scroll down? I add a small comment to uh, append to issue links for API documentation and CLI documentation. Actually, we have to separate issues to track them. So uh, we can add them to this table. Yeah, I can, I can update later. Uh, okay, uh, any any questions? Uh, I think later we, we will have a further discussion once we have the cost estimated. And today I will also think with uh, Todi to collect uh, his feedback. Sure, thanks. Uh, I see comment from Sajay. Ratify considering RC1 around January. Unless RC2 comes. <laughs> I was asking Sajay, Bob, I ratify RC1. What's the date they are considering in January? I don't think. Sorry, Sajay, I cannot hear you. Yeah, cannot hear you, Sajay. Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, I, I was just teasing the dates because uh, we've been considering how to consume notation RC1 and 
okay. unless notation RC two comes out very early, we would want to kind of like snap to RC one, like Pritesh was saying, right? Get something that doesn't break for some time, um, okay. and we need to put a date for RFI also. But that's kind of post. Um, uh, will and I'll let Toddy kind of like come back from vacation. And we'll talk about that. Sure, no problem. But uh, are we still going to have ratify on eleven twenty eight? Sajay, the minimal tested I, version we were talking about. Yeah, I think uh, we have a call tomorrow. I'll discuss more on that. But Bin Bin has kind of made quite a lot of progress on the implementation already. So, sure, sure, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Ian. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye, bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.